Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Collection blonde, events. Blonde Wraith. The Where? Revenant skin Where's really Blonde nice. Wraith? Let's take a look. In the battle pass. Ah, anniversary <laughs> prize tracker. Ooh, Blonde Wraith. I see that. I see that. I was looking at the um, the actual collection event. Yeah, where am I? So where's this? Dude, other this one? is a nice through one skin. What the hell? This is so yeah, nice. These are, yeah, these are good skins. It's it's yeah, prize tracker. Nice ones. Yeah. This is not bad. They, they explain prestige skin here too. Mm -hmm. Prestige skins basically there's there's three variants of it, and you unlock each variant by doing things like challenges. Also, also, I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Matter of fact, I'm I think I'm even wearing the same shirt as when, when I recorded this for them. Is that my gray shirt, dude? I'm actually wearing the same shirt. I'll do the same pose. Hold up. That's that's me. That's, that's okay, it's me, right there. The packs are now purchasable. There was a bit of a delay. Uh, I think my friend's movement Sappy went off to play some ranked. But uh, here we are, let's take a look. Uh, we're gonna unbox the uh, 24 packs and then the Bloodhound Mythic, which is, uh, in my opinion, I think it's really sick. I, I, om I almost prefer this over like a regular heirloom. Uh, it comes with a unique finish as well at the final level. Oh, and before I forget, I keep forgetting, I, I've had this like secret project that I've been working on. It's a second channel, second Candy Roo channel. It's got more Apex and it's more edited and it's more edited content, lots of funny moments. It's hard to describe. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be in the description or I maybe I'll put up a card here in the upper left, upper right, upper right. Ch check it out if you want. I, I think it's really good content. Let's start with Numero Uno. All right, let's take a look. Freedom for Salvo. Nice, nice hollow spray for, I'm assuming, Maggie? Yep. Nice. Ready for war, oh, that's just sick. This is what I was talking about too earlier, is, is there was the original um, caustic, I forget the name of this caustic skin, but they've inc uh, included a Gibby version and a Revy version. I think that's hella sick. So, we'll keep uh, going through these packs. If I, if I go through every single cosmetic, we'll, we'll be here forever. Got a legendary here. There's the Revy one that we were talking about. Oof, that's a sick Valkyrie skin. I forget which... Was it the Bangalore skin that this is based off of? I forgot. Pretty sick emote. Get hyped. Oh, I, I love this little collection. Can't wait to unbox these as well. I never liked it on Crypto that much, but I really like on Watson Mirage. I think it looks really nice. Imagine if he had a team that just had matching, uh, if he just had matching uh, skins. Crypto Mirage Watson. So cool. Epic Rampage skin right here. Ass tracker. Dude, I can't believe this game's been out for three years, man. It doesn't feel like it. Finders keepers. Hulk skin. Another Ash skin. So this is a pretty cool card. Put that on. Got a legendary here. And it will be the Bangalore Violet Veteran skin. Put it on. I think my favorite is still Super Soldier. That oh, was not half bad. Ah, uh, yes. This is probably my new favorite Watson skin. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. Double legendary. What? What luck? What luck? We're so lucky. The 301 skin is hella sick. I'm actually really happy to have a really nice 301 skin because uh, now that the Flatlands kind of created, or not created, but crafty material, re re replicated, replicator only, uh, I see a lot more 301s being used. Sort of like the de facto AR, AR now. Pathy skin and a bunch of Mad Maggie stuff. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of Mad Maggie stuff because she just came out and uh, I have I have a lot of the items in Apex at this point. 
Yep, yep. Guitar emote. I like that one a lot. The Mirage Hype Beast Litwit. Very clever. Very cute name. We haven't. We're getting. We are getting a lot of double legendaries. Probably one of my luckier pulls. And a lot of uh, lifeline emotes. Gibraltar, love it. Golden Guardian, sick. Is this the vault? Oof, that's pretty sick. I wonder how the iron sights are on this, because some of these skins have pay to win iron sights. I, I think the last, I think the Dark Death's vault had a bigger iron sight, or is, is it, it looks more cluttered. So I'm hoping this one's better. Mad Maggie, Blood and Plunder. We'll add that. I think this is the only. I think this is the first uh, Mad Maggie legendary Mad Maggie skin. I don't think I bought any of the um, the legendaries yet. It'll be it'll be kind of nice to have something on her. Golden Wingman. This is this is very gold, very Wingman. Be Eye of the Beholder. Wingman skins are always a, to a toss up. It's like they're either really clean irons or they're like eh, a little cluttered. Bloodhound skin. You know, it's kind. I feel kind of bad that there's a legendary Bloodhound skin here when, uh, when there's like a, a, a well, they don't call them heirloom skins anymore. They call them uh, mythics, mythic prestige. There's a prestige level skin in the same like collection event. Why, why would they do that? I don't know. Weapon charm, weapon charm. Excellent. Keep cracking open these bad boys. R9 skin. R9 skins are always a hit or miss too. There were some that were really nice uh, for iron sights. But the recent R9 skins as of late have not been too hit open. We'll have to check it out in the firing range like I said earlier. Uh, Rampart skin, lime mis Malachite green. Lime Malachite green. Interesting. And then one more. One more pack. And then the heirloom. The, ha the heirloom. The car. This is a pretty clean car skin. As far as epics go, it's pretty sick. Uh, okay. So now we open up the heirloom. Or no. I keep calling it heirloom. The prestige. No. Not prestige skin. The, uh, what are they call again? Mythics. God, it's so hard to remember. So, for those that don't know, you start off with a tier one. The more damage you got, the more you level it up. So, it's kind of sick. There's also a finisher here challenge track. Yeah, challenge tracking. Wait, what? Why do I have to select that? I can either toggle it on or off. I see. Well, it's a good thing I had that. I clicked on that. Jesus. That is. Oh, you guys can't see it. My face cam's in the way. There you go. Take a look at that. Let's hop. Let's hop into the firing range real quick. Oh, Apex Hunter. It's a cool little um icon. Oh, they are pretty nice, and the finisher is pretty sick. Piercing plasma. Here we go. So you guys can see it. Very, very predator. Very predator like. Really curious because I said I wanted to check this out, but the wingman skin is actually not bad. I was afraid those two little knobs would be too far, too close to each other, but this is decent. It's pretty decent. Wait, wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Boom. Boom. I got it. There we go. It's pretty sick. I mean, it looks distinct enough from the other skins. I kind of wished I could see the face of this. <laughs> Can't really see the face. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, it's kind of hard to get a good frontal view, but uh, I will. I guess maybe I'll do like a video where uh, I unlock the other two tiers. It might take a long time though. I guess this is something I've always kind of wanted Respawn to explore, which was like cosmetics that would morph based on kills or damage. So it is kind of cool to see it. I wasn't expecting it to be part of a collection event, but I'm glad it's here anyways. I mean, it's a really sick skin. I love the concept. It's going to take me a very long time to get 100k damage on Bloodhound, but we'll see what we can do. 
I've I'm always good. liked I, I didn't I always talk about like skins with like challenges to unlock, you know? I I'm glad yeah, they Fortnite added it. That. I'm glad they added it. But I think people aren't happy because they feel like, oh, I'm spending 160 bucks on a on a prestige on a skin. Yeah. But Ooh. it's 160 bucks for all these things, all these legendaries plus all the epics and also the skin as opposed so i guess it depends on how like, how you look at it but i guess if you only want the skin the only way is to spend 160 or so dollars i mean the cool. thing the way i like people are gonna complain if it's not the legend that they want to play that's simple bloodhound is mm -hmm. pretty freaking like, good though that's a good legend to have I this song. i mean I don't, i'm not gonna complain either way but if it was a lifeline skin i'd be like shit maybe i'll buy it it's pretty cool mm -hmm. this... yeah no no but they want their heirloom shards that they that people were expect i get what people oh why because people of last like year because last year yeah uh, people wanted to be able to buy shards and then the bloodhound people who don't play bloodhound are like damn now i'm basically getting i'm not buying that because but that's that's how it is for every that but that's him. but that's how it is for every collection yeah, of it. I know. Like I, know most, they, like, I just think expectations were different. People, mm. you, know, you know how it is. I think people just don't think the skin is worth the 160 bucks, but I feel like it is... That yeah, too. I think people were butthurt about the price. Right. But Which I don't know, dude. I kinda, steep. It is really steep, but I mean... Listen. <laughs> I, it's a pretty sick skin. I'm just going to say it's a pretty sick skin. It is. I think... Um, I mean, the only, the only issue is Apex... Is a first-person shooter, so it's not even like it's not even like you can like look at the skin all the time. No. Like you have to do a finisher or an emote. True. It's a third. Per it's not a third-person shooter. I've never cared about cosmetics in any game that I played. Really, I find um, what I like and I rock it. Mm, usually. Yeah. Fair I'm enough. Like a one trick. 